right, my friends, so back in the studio, and today I have something very unique to show you. This may help change the way you use your radio control car. Now, bum 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 from the Hoy Fab Crawlers. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description box down below. Uh, <laughs> you must be wondering what this half a moon with a, a sun in the middle is, and I'll certainly get to that. My friend Jason Hoy, he's been a supporter of the show for a long, long time. He's always on my Facebook page, always showing us cool stuff that they do at the Hoy Fab Crawlers, and this innovation right here is worth mentioning. Now, look at this. It's 3D printed. This is actually 3D printed by a company called Shapeways that uh, make this out of nylon. Now, it is hollow. It is fairly strong. It's fairly rigid. The Hoy Fab Crawlers. And you have two slots, top and bottom. What the heck, eh? Well, check it out. This is my Spectrum uh, radio control. This is one of the ones I use most of the time while I'm out in the field. I can get mud on it and other things. I don't mind, I just wipe it off, right? This is my everyday abuse radio. <laughs> now, it does have a drop down for the wheel so I can control it. Then while I'm out in the field and I wanna control my RC and capture film at the same time, it can be a challenge because you, you have to control it with your thumb. Now, this one in particular extra hard because you don't have much range of motion your thumb is always getting caught right there not anymore thanks to Jason Hoy dun, 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 dun. look at this this fits my spectrum wheel on the radio is this genius or what he calls it the all thumbs <laughs> He had an issue where he was going out and trying to film uh, and he couldn't control his uh, crawler very easy either with throttle and reverse or brake. And, and now with his innovation, you are able to do that. So awesome job as an entrepreneur, Jason. This totally deserves to be on the show. I bought two of them, my friend, just to bring him in here. Now it doesn't just stick to the radio, which would be handy. I'm sure some double-sided tape would do well, but what they've actually done is with this top and bottom slot, if you have a battery strap that is 20 millimeters or less, really 18 mils is uh, the preferred size in uh, width, right? So it fits through here. Now, there is a challenge though, and I'll let you know straight up. I'll show you how I actually do this as well. So these straps that come out these days, they're fairly you know, inexpensive. They turn them out by the hundreds of thousands. And this particular one comes with glue that just glues this together. It's not a strap, it's not so together and this has a tendency to easily rip off so normally what I do is use gorilla tape anyway it's stronger than duct tape and this is like a, a fiber tape as well I've always used them on the back of my battery straps to strengthen them so I'm gonna be using this today as part of this tutorial if you guys go and get one of these all thumbs I'm also going to be using a zip tie uh, and uh, that's it, a, a blade, because this one's a little bit too wide. I want to cut it down. So people have been using fish wire or fish line, fishing line, to tie it through, kind of fish this through the all thumbs. That is completely possible. Any way to do it is fine. But because I want to add strength to this anyway, I'm going to do that today by using my Gorilla Tape. Now I'm going to move my Cow RC pit mat out of the way just so I can use a blade. A slice down the side. There we go, take this piece off. Now I've got my strap. It's certainly the right uh, width, right? So no problem. I'm gonna go ahead, lay it out flat. Take the Gorilla Tape. Let's just right about there. One piece. I don't want to make this too thick because obviously the slots, as you can see, are very slender, right? So with this uh, zip tie, just cut this out of the way on the back like so. Stick this straight down the back. This isn't permanent. Just gonna trim up the side here. 
With that laid out properly, I am now ready to fish it through. Now, on the inside, it's hollow. So if you start to fish it through just without uh, anything that can help, it just kind of gets all bunched up in here and doesn't go through the other side like I would like it to. Now, here we go. Make sure that your direction is proper because when you feed it through, you're going to want the strap to fold back on itself like this. So proper direction. Using the plastic, I'm just going to kind of mold it with my finger just to give it a bit of a round curve. Ta-da! Now this is the part I can feed in here. See if I get it proper. Oh, it could maybe have used just a tad more of a bend. No, I did get it. Poking through the other side and I just start to feed it through like that. Now I'm pushing as well as giving it a pull on the other side. Because I know it, if I'm not careful, it can bunch up on the inside, but I'm hoping that's not gonna help or do it right now. Come on. There we go. So now it's fed through to the other side. For me, because I don't need the zip tie to stay in there anymore, I'm just gonna peel it back, take that zip tie out, all the way. Then replace that tape, adding the strength to the, to the strap itself. Feed it through the battery strap, around, and it is nice and secure. Check it out, all thumbs installed and ready to go. Nice and strong, I don't have to worry about it ripping. My friends, the Hoy Fab Crawlers, all thumbs, making it easier for you to RC and film at the same time. Check them out in the video description box down below. If this has helped you or if you're face palming yourself right now going, why didn't I think of that? leave it in the video comment section below. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. I hope this has inspired you to get out and try the hobby of radio control. Subscribe and I'll see you on the trail. Bye for now.